Hi guys and happy Wednesday, happy hump day. I am filming this this morning and posting it today because today I feel like I have this light inside of me. I have something I really wanna share and just feel really excited about it. So I was like, I'm gonna come on here, be raw and real with you guys. This is my natural hair, no makeup, like completely raw and uh, share what's coming from my heart and what I feel like has made an impact on some of you guys this morning. So I want to share with my YouTube fam. Uh, so this morning I sent out an email. If you are not subscribed to my email list, make sure you subscribe. You get workouts, you get nutrition, you get mindset stuff, like all stuff to, to make you feel better and uh, I really really love sending out those emails so if you want to be a part of the list and get that exclusive content make sure that you subscribe and the link is in the description so just wanted to add that if you don't want to subscribe it's totally fine you don't have to subscribe um, but uh, it's just there for you just so you guys know if I do have an email list that's besides the point. Anyways, what, what am I here to talk about today? I wanted to talk about, I did have some recent weight loss. I did make some videos about insulin. I made some videos a little bit about cortisol, but I didn't really go into too much detail about cortisol. And uh, I wanted to talk a little bit more about the changes in my life, changes in my body, and uh, what has really like changed the game for me. So. Let's rewind back to when I first started my fitness journey. I remember I was in college and I was doing lots of cardio and I was constantly picking myself apart. I was constantly comparing myself to the girls on Instagram. I wanted to look like the people on Instagram and constantly focused on my external appearance. I only cared about looking a certain way and I didn't even really know like what my specific goals of what I wanted to look like. I just knew I wanted to like have six pack abs and and that was basically it. So yes, I did obtain that goal. I did get six pack abs. I, I obtained that goal within like 16 weeks. And I honestly wasn't happy when I got to that point. I constantly was like, okay, well, like I have to I have to get leaner, I have to like, my butt needs to look better. I, I was constantly still picking myself apart. The same mindset techniques I was following from when I first started, I was still following those same mindset like patterns when I got to my goal. So how can I have a goal that's obtainable if I don't feel good about where I am when I get there? It doesn't make any sense, right? So I stayed really lean for those three years and that was my only thing was just like staying lean and um, not really happy, constantly feeling guilty, constantly feeling like I have to go to the gym, constantly feeling like I have to do cardio and it was a constant state of like I have to do this, if not I'm going to feel bad about myself. So if I'm talking bad about myself, if I'm not excited about really where I'm going, I don't really have like... A goal as to how I want to feel when I get there what am I doing and that's what I did for three years I only was just focused on like keeping my six-pack staying stressed about it and not really creating a long-term like plan and lifestyle out of like my fitness so as you can see, within a year after I stopped competing, I gained lots of weight. I was really stressed out and I lost a lot of love and passion for fitness um, in that time period. And I was just like unhappy where I was. I wound up moving out of my parents' house. I moved into an apartment that I really didn't love and I was really stressed out. I was constantly picking myself apart and I was allowing those bad thoughts and stress to spiral into like bad habits. So I was not making good food choices. I was constantly stressed out. And when you're really stressed out, your cortisol, that hormone, that stress hormone gets released and it causes your body to crave more sugary, fatty foods. And I was constantly just craving that. I only wanted to eat like that. And I was, and after I would eat that way, I would feel even more guilty and I was creating even more stress. So understand it was not a good ripple effect the past like year and a half. It just wasn't good. And I was like trying to like go to the gym, but what was I really going to the gym for I didn't really have any like specific goals in mind I wasn't really practicing like good self-love techniques and I never established that when I was like on my initial weight loss journey I never established like self-love I never established like being excited about life or being excited about my goals or be excited about how I want to feel when I get there I never established that 
when people lose an excess amount of weight, studies show that 98% of the people within a year of losing excess amount of weight tend to gain it all back. And why? Why does that 2% gain all the weight back? Does that make any sense? Why do they gain the weight back? And it's because they did not develop those positive mindset techniques while they, when they first started, while they were on their fitness journey. They weren't loving their fitness journey. They felt like they had to go to the gym. They had to restrict themselves. They had to get, make sacrifices and they had to do things that they really ultimately didn't want to do. They felt like they were sacrificing to get to a certain point that they really didn't know like how to feel when they got there. You know, you have to picture where you're going, how you want to feel when you get there. How could it change your life? What could it do to make you like feel absolutely amazing? And I would say for me at this point in my life, uh, I was able to see progress in my body because I, I did make like some dietary changes, but more so mindset changes. When I wake up in the morning, I tell myself five things that I absolutely love about myself. I will go read a chapter of a book that makes me feel really amazing, and then I'll go listen to an audio while I am making breakfast. I do this all very strategically because I am training my body and mind to really love who I am. Like I am so much more than my body. Yes, I am working on my body, but my body has been responding really well because I tell myself positive things I think positive things I am excited about my life I'm excited about the goals that I have you know like if you're not excited about your goals if you're not excited about life you're going to be in that spiral where you're constantly picking yourself apart you're constantly stressed out you're constantly just just unmotivated and that's no no way to move forward if you are there it's okay you can make a change right now what could you do right now that could cause you to be in a better mindset start seeing progress with your body start seeing progress with your life and it all starts with you and your mind so I would say find a mentor that really helps you like inspires you lifts you up and uh, whether it's a coach, whether it's somebody else that you find or whatever, there are people here who want to help you and want to see you succeed. And for me, I've invested so much money into a mentor, so much time into a mentor, um, and it really changed my whole life. And if you're not ready to go and invest into mentors or coaches, it's completely okay. You can also just go in the mirror and tell yourself things that you absolutely love about yourself and find audios and find things on YouTube everything is free to listen to and stuff that helps you get in a better mindset you need to refocus and uh, focus on ways to feel good it all starts with you just feeling really good so back to where I was with like my story uh, I want to talk about like how I was mentally before and to how I've been now uh, when I was competing and staying really lean I would feel really guilty after I would eat a meal like I would feel so restricted 60 days a week that seventh day I would either do a refeed or a high carb day and I developed like wanting to just eat like really really bad and then like getting back on track the next day but having to work out extra hard having to do extra cardio thinking about that meal that I ate regretting the meal that I ate and inside inside my belly I knew that that did not make me feel good that stress of knowing that I ate something I wasn't supposed to eat shouldn't even be a thought in my mind it sh I should be able to eat food and enjoy the food that I eat I'm eating there's no good foods there's no bad foods and I I have to look at everything for just like eating to feel good so now I eat foods that make me feel good. If I want to eat a burger, if I'm feeling like I need to eat a burger, it's completely okay. Like if I want to eat a burger, I'm not going to eat a burger every day because I know that eating a burger every single day is not going to make me feel good. So, but having it once and here and there, I don't look at the burger as bad. Like nothing is bad. I, I make decisions based on how I feel. And you need to look at food as fuel. How does the food make you feel? How does like working towards your goals make you feel? How does losing 10 pounds make you feel? 
you know, focus on the feeling, 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 and your body is going to respond in ways that you never thought it could before. And I would say that I feel so lean and I feel so good every day because I am practicing positive self affirmations and I'm focused on where I want to go and I'm focused and I'm excited about everything that I'm doing in my life. And I would say for the past year and a half, I was like really in a funk. I didn't know where I wanted to go with my business. I didn't really want to know what I wanted for my body. I didn't know like how to get out of that funk. And I would say that like I have a mentor that really, really helped me. I've invested a lot into it. And I'm not saying that you have to invest a lot, but for me, I, I've I, I gave everything to this. I cried. I've put my I've been in like really, really low points, but this person helped bring me out of where I was and helped me create an amazing life life for myself. So when I was really into fitness, it was just fitness. Like I didn't picture like the kind of relationship I wanted to have, the kind of car I wanted to drive, the kind of how much traveling I wanted to do, the kind of like place I wanted to live. I didn't see that the more to life that there actually is. I only saw fitness. I only saw getting six pack abs. I only saw getting a certain amount of likes on Instagram. I only saw like getting first place at a certain show. I didn't see anything else and I'm not saying any of that stuff is bad but realize there's more to life, there's more to feeling good, there's more than just just focusing on the calorie amount on the food. You realize that when you value yourself enough, you're excited about your life, you're excited about your goals, you make better food choices because it makes you feel good. You travel more because you're excited about life, because you, you want to experience more. You have better relationships because you feel better about yourself. The energy, the better energy you have, the better energy you can give. The better energy you can give, the better energy you can get. So having good energy and just feeling good is going to create more opportunity in your life. Your body is going to respond better. And like I said, you are going to make just better choices because you're focused on just feeling good. And if you're choosing foods that are not making you feel good, then you're, you're going to notice that in your performance, in your mind, in your body. And you just want to focus on being the best that you can be. I value what you think about is what you bring about. So if you think positively about your body, you're going to see positive results. If you think positively about um like where you're going in life that is going to happen for you i i truly believe that you never like chilling and you're thinking about somebody and then all of a sudden they call it's not ironic it doesn't happen on accident our thoughts are so powerful and i don't have all the answers but i realize that what i think about is could like happens like our minds can actually like do anything and we have to use that to our full potential stop limiting yourself stop looking in the mirror and telling yourself all the bad things that you hate about yourself stop comparing yourself to people either in person or the people that you see on Instagram and start loving yourself it all starts with you and how you feel about yourself and that really changed the game for me and it I now see lots of positive changes in my body and my life and I honestly wouldn't be here without really focusing on my mind I would be living at home no point no problem living at home I love my parents to death you know I love them but um, my heart is in California I would be living at home having that maybe six pack abs and still not knowing where I wanted to go in life or what I actually wanted it's not really about money like if people I would say if you're ever stressed about money or whatever uh, I used to be like really really stressed about it but like what was my purpose with the money what was I going to do with the money how was I going to create an amazing life how was I going to be able to give back and I would say now I'm at a point in my life where I think about everything I can do to create an impact how can I help others how can I help myself how can I grow as a person and I have so many things coming now and I would say that it all started from like focusing more on my mind how I want to feel how do I want to feel when I create this how do I feel when I how do I want to feel when I get to this point in my body how do I feel right now and how do I how excited I am for where I'm going so you have to like take a hard look at yourself take a hard look at your life and uh, figure out what you want and how you want to feel when you get there so if you don't love yourself now how do you expect to love yourself 
in a few weeks you have to love where you are now feel good with you where you are now and understand that uh, you have the power to get better in any aspect of your life it just all starts with you and what you want and i'm telling you the better you feel the better people you attract and um, the better you do for yourself so for me i find that investing in myself really helps me listening to audios really helps me um, surrounding myself with people who bring me up really helps me so this was a huge change in my life. Fitness is a huge part of me. Um, I love to be active. I love to eat food that makes me feel so good. I love making like really, really like good meals that nourish my body, gives me lots of energy, and uh, I, I really value that. So I'm gonna be posting more of my meals and hopefully you guys could uh, learn from that. Um, but that has really been like a huge change for me. I don't know if I seem different or whatever from, from the past like year or so, but um, I'm in a completely different state. I'm living, I mean, actually like physically a different state, but mental state. And uh, I'm living in the apartment of my dreams and I'm living out the message and the impact that I want to make. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this little spiel. I was feeling really inspired to talk about this today. It was just something that was been like eating at me. I think about where I was like in my fitness journey when I first started and I literally was only focused on like getting six pack abs and wasn't focused on the big picture of my entire life and where I wanted to go with it and um, the people that I wanted to touch along the way. So this is me just, being raw and sharing who I am. So, all right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you soon. I will be more consistent on YouTube. I actually have like lots of ideas. So anyways, I will see you really soon. Love you, bye.